Hey everyone, welcome to Big Flick Energy. With the recent release of Doctor Strange the Multiverse of Madness, I made a video two to three weeks ago about all the projects in the Earth 338 universe, which I included the show Inhumans because Black Bolt was in the film, and how I included all the live action Marvel shows of Inhumans, Cloak and Dagger, Runaways, and Hellstrom in this universe. However, I also mentioned a specific show I didn't include, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. This was the first show in the MCU and told us stories happening within the MCU, actually things that led into events of the films. While the films never mentioned the show, the show mentioned the films quite often, along with one of its stars being Agent Coulson from the first Avengers film, and the show actually having Nick Fury show up for a guest appearance, also Stan Lee showed up, and they mentioned some of the Avengers. However, the later seasons really went away from this story and they didn't mention the blip in any way, as no characters disappeared, while also having a time travel storyline which kind of makes it so that Tony Stark actually wasn't the first character to discover time travel in the MCU, or at least to create a form of time travel. This has been a show many have debated for a long time about whether or not it's part of the MCU, and it seemed as if WandaVision gave us the answer to this question by showing us the Darkhold which looked very different from the Darkhold we saw in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D which actually happened to have the same look as the Darkhold we saw in Runaways. With this, it all but confirmed Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. to not be part of the MCU. Or did it? At that time, I agreed until I finished watching Multiverse of Madness, and we saw the Darkhold be destroyed. This led Wong to telling Wanda the Darkhold book has always been a copy, which leads me to believe what was stopping there from being an extra copy out there. Now Wong would have known about this and would have been able to tell her about it instead of the actual temple where they went to, but in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. we know Ghost Rider ended up with the book and took it to another dimension. But why does it look exactly like the Darkhold in the show Runaways if that's a different universe? It's the same way the 616 Darkhold looks the same as the Sinister Strange Darkhold. The multiverse is insane, and there are a lot of overlaps in different universes same as Professor X looking the same in Earth 838 as the Fox X-Men universe. Now one reason Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is not in the 838 universe is they straight up mention Agent Carter in that show and not Captain Carter showing she had her 616 story. The biggest issue with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. in 616 though is the time travel storyline and how they ignore the events of Thanos. What I think occurred is they were in the 616 timeline until the story of season 5 where they were transported to the future and then came back. They used the time diala to teleport to the future, but I don't think this is their future as they went back to the past and changed the timeline, and then the show got kind of weird with an alternate version of Coulson, which brings us to the multiverse which was born after the events of Loki, so this is probably one of the first remnants of it. This show tied in well until season 5 finished, where even then they mentioned Thanos, but season 6 and 7 were so different that I think it was the time travel of season 5 which brought them to a new, very similar timeline where everything was the same except Thanos had failed. Now I still feel like we haven't seen enough of what Marvel plans to do with these characters with rumors of Quake showing up in certain projects, but until then I think it's fair to say that this was just an extra copy of the Darkhold, it wasn't this new version of the Darkhold that we had never seen before, and I think that you can say that the first 5 seasons of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D are canon to the MCU, but then season 6 and 7, after the time travel happens, are not. You can even say it's just the first 4 seasons and then season 5 because it's in the future in a different timeline, it's not part of the same universe. So I think it'll probably be in a similar way to where Deadpool 3, which is actually in development, will be in the MCU, while the first two obviously aren't because they're in the Fox X-Men universe, which I really hope for that movie they do Deadpool kills the Fox X-Men universe. That'd be really cool. And Deadpool killing the Marvel universe is a huge Marvel storyline. I don't know how they would get all the actors back for that, but that would be really fun for Deadpool to just destroy everything in the Fox X-Men universe saying like, okay, now Fox no longer owns me and I am going to go to the MCU. So in this film, I'm literally just gonna take everybody out. That would be pretty fun. I don't know if they'll do it, doesn't seem like a very Disney thing to do, even though the film is supposed to be rated R. But yeah, let's get back on track. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching this video, 
Please like, subscribe, and push the bell notification. And see you next time on Big Flick Energy.